All I can think is San Francisco is on the other side of the Golden Gate Bridge, which is actually visible from here. It's a little one of the pillars. And they built an entire city on mountains like this. They went through the process of building a city on this kind of landscape. Just incredible. And they kind of tried to level the ridges and valleys and hills and mountains and peaks and troughs. But they really, they could only make a small dent. They just decided to build on it. Look at all this loose rock right here. Maybe they turned it into building material. <sighs> but they didn't. They probably didn't have to clear too many trees. I don't know why they didn't build more city onto this other side. It seems strange. Because there's such a demand for real estate here. And they leave it all open. <clears throat> People are fighting for space. This is steep. It's just such an interesting contrast between the developed San Francisco and then the undeveloped across the bay. I mean, there's there's just as much of a bay north of the San, of the of the Golden Gate Bridge, yet they only have coastal towns along the the bay coast. You don't see homeless people lining the trail sides in places like this. Homeless people require dense civilizations to, to really congregate. <sighs> well, I crashed again. <sighs> Hit this, this little, uh, whatever, a cubby hole. Hit that turn too hard and moved over too much. I knew it was looking bad. I was able to slow down fairly good. Still took some damage. I'm amazed how much of a drop this has been. So it's gonna be a very, very long climb, a long walk back. The weather on this side of the hill, on this lower depression, feels like it could be five degrees cooler than it is in Sausalito. And this might be because, and in, in this, in this is including that the morning is approaching too. It's supposed to gradually get warmer, but it's actually gradually gotten colder closer I've gotten to the coast. Alright, so there's quite a few bicyclers and some hikers coming around this road. It's pretty popular. I think I see Marin Headquarters as a sign over there. I'm gonna see what I can access up this way on this military base. <clears throat> Oops, no admittance. They won't allow you up these stairs. 
wow. Is there another admittance? And right further down, this looks a little bit better. Let's see where this leads. All right, so the military base has turned into the Headland Center for the Arts. And that would explain this weird water fountain that has a sign in it saying it probably doesn't work. Coming soon. Non-functional. Oh! What? What are they talking about, non-functional? Alright, that's weird. You press one button and two of them turn on. What a waste. Something's written on the side of this house, building, dorm. Have you seen how everything fault? Uh, I don't even want to read it. I don't think it's really good. Just look up Wendy Rose. Whatever. Once again, it's so amazing to see the, the land features uh, similar to San Francisco that are undeveloped. And to think, you know, they, they just put a lot of effort and time into developing uh, land features just like this for San Francisco. It's amazing. So I was just over there, which looks to be a part of a military base military base back there there should be one up ahead in fact the uh, Nike missile site Nike missile site it stretches as far south as Pacifica they really stretch this defense over a large area and they're saying on this sign up here that the military is still using it so that looks like a fresh coated paint of uh, sign Patrolled by sentry dogs? Oh, and you're allowed access on Thursday through Saturday, 12.30 to 3.30 to get inside this fenced area and look around. Doesn't look like much anyway. Alright, so this is a part of the Nike missile site to allow storage area, I guess. And I am curious about the lighthouse, just to get a peek. Alright, so in front of me they used to have this set up, huh? Cold War era. We need them back for North Korea. I never fired a missile. <clears throat> yeah, I think they're referring to down there. Some kind of serious underground bunker area here. With lots of graffiti and a sign.